Hey, buddy. Hey. Guys, a cat just walked by. Dude, what the heck? What the heck was... Guys, guys, this is 3 a.m. and a car just went by with like its horns on going crazy. <laughs> We're going back to the box for Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team Epony and we're back with a brand new video and it is currently 12 a.m. It's early in the morning, but that's because guys, I am preparing for a 3 a.m. video. That's right, we've done some 3 a.m. videos before guys and they are really freaky. Papa Jake doesn't like 3 a.m. videos. We're gonna go outside alone, no Logan, and we're gonna try and survive. The area around my house is very, very spooky. My house literally backs off onto a cemetery and the woods beside us have stories that will like literally chill your bones. I think it's time we gear up and we get ready for a 3 a.m. box fort. So for the 3 a.m. box fort, oh, we are gonna need the survival gear pack. Now I'm gonna be out there for three hours, so I don't exactly need a ton of stuff, but what I will need are some of the essentials. We're gonna need flashlights, definitely a must. We are gonna need our night vision camera so we can see in the dark, make sure no one comes at us, because it is gonna be very dark out there, guys. Headlamps are a must. This is a fire starter, we need that. We're gonna have a fire out there because I don't wanna be cold. Oh, I'm forgetting one thing, guys. I haven't eaten yet, and that's where this comes in. Ugh. We have a tactical MRE certified by the Department of Defense. So you guys know this is legit. Cheese and tortellini in tomato sauce. All right, good, that, that sounds good. I have all of our gear here. Now, because we're not doing this in the woods, because that's just, that's way too freaky. A lot of you guys were saying that we should do this challenge at 3 a.m. in the haunted tunnel. Now, if you guys want me to do that, I don't even wanna say it. I don't even, want, I don't even wanna go there. If we get 50,000 likes on this video, we will do a 3 a.m. box for in the woods, but I'm definitely bringing Logan along for that. I mean, I mean, maybe I'll change my mind after this. I don't know what we're gonna see out there. I just, I, just thinking about that freaks me out. I mean, even thinking about outside right now freaks me out. But but anyway, I'm geared up, I got my gloves, I got my headlamp. We've got our flashlight here, we've got our MRE and our fire starters. Last but not least, before we go out there, we are gonna be bringing one set of tape. That's right, that's all we got, one set of tape. And we don't have a lot of time, so we gotta start building this thing now. All right, here we go. We got a little bit of light from the pool. Let's scout out the area. If we're gonna be building the box for it, probably gonna wanna build it back here. Oh, sweet. Yo, check this out guys, some leftover tape from our last video. This looks like it is the perfect spot to start building. So now, we need some boxes. Oh god. This is the thing I don't like. Uh, this isn't good. A weird story about this little hut behind my house here. When I was younger, probably like five years old or so, apparently my dad came out here one night and he walked back to the hut. Inside, he found someone sleeping. But the weird thing is, as the story goes, when he went to go kind of confront the guy, the guy looked up at him and his eyes were completely black. After that, he ran inside to call the police. Before he could come back out and see the guy again, he just kind of vanished. This is kind of known as the creepy guy shed for me, but it is also our way to box forts, or cardboard at least. And not a lot of time before, it's 3 a.m. So we gotta start building. It's also pitch black, and all I have is this flashlight and this, but I wanna get the box for built and then get our fire made. So the box for it's almost done. I have the outside, which is pretty much prepared. The inside's looking good, we just need to do a roof. It's not the best box for it I've ever made. I mean, it's definitely, not the prettiest, but considering that we had to make this at almost 1 a.m. now, I think it'll do good. So I want to get inside, I want to get our fire started. I'm also just feeling really creeped out, guys. Like, I'm getting that feeling that I got when we were down at the haunted tunnel. It's not a good feeling. This is 3 a.m. in the box for it. The door should close somewhat. And this is a window. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a lot safer now that we're in the box for it. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling better, I'm not as freaked out. That kind of scary feeling has gone away, so maybe it was just nerves, I don't know. Yo, yeah. what was that? What was that? What was that? Was that was the weirdest sound. Dude. Oh god, oh god. I don't know if that was just like an animal or something. Guys, this is freaking me out. This is really freaking me out right now. Something just like really eerie about being back here at night. I don't know if it's the fact that we're so close to a cemetery or kind of this. Yo, I just heard something. I just heard something. I swear I just heard something in that tree, and that's exactly where we're building. 
I don't know, I guess I can't really tell on this GoPro, but I think I'm seeing eyes. We should, we should go, we should go. I'm gonna get inside, I'm gonna continue with what we're doing, and then I'll get the, the night vision camera. All right guys, so this is my makeshift 3 a.m. fireplace. Now we're gonna put some uh, kindling in it and get it started. You guys, so I just went to go get kindling, and as I was coming back, I saw some bats flying around. Yo, go. Right there, right there. He's flying, go. he's flying right around. I've never seen bats here. It's time to make our fire. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, right, oh yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, so let's put a box in here. Check out our fire, that's looking good, dude. I just feel safer with a fire, even though, okay. Uh, minus the fire burning us down, I feel safer with the fire. So we have uh, vanilla pudding dessert powder. That sounds good. Ooh, M&Ms, that's awesome. Spoon, peanut butter. Uh, this is the electrolyte beverage powder. Yeah, we got everything in this. Uh, this is the drink mixer, heater, cardboard holder. These are crackers. Uh, this is like your salt and pepper and everything like that. Oh, here it is. This is the main entree. This is the uh, cheese tortellini. So, yummy. So, before we get to uh, dinner, I thought we could start off with some crackers, which are uh, like a thousand years old, but that's okay. I'm already forgetting about the whole scary 3 a.m. thing. I'm just enjoying some nice crackers. Don't know how old this peanut butter is, but it will last you like 15 years or something like that. Oh, bye. A little dry, a little dry, definitely a little dry, but other than that, not bad at all. It is now past 3 a.m. It's currently 3.12. The pool light just went out. No, the whole pool, the whole backyard lights went out. I don't know if those went out earlier. Dude, that is really creepy. Yo, there's another bat. This is really, really freaking me out. There's literally bats outside, and all the lights in the backyard just went out. I'm starting to get kind of freaked out. I'm getting really freaked out. A couple minutes ago, I was thinking, you know, guys, this isn't bad at all. 3 a.m. in a box port. You know, I, where else would you rather be? But this is this is getting kind of freaky. I don't like the fact I can't see outside, guys. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna grab our night vision camera. I'm gonna set up the night vision camera, and we're gonna go looking outside, see if we can't see anything. And on top of all that, looks like our fire went out. I can't really see much, but if you guys can see anything on the camera here, the night vision camera, let me know. All right, guys, so I'm gonna come back over to the shed here. Yo, yo what the heck was that? Yo, what was that? Yo, what the hell was that, dude? There was literally something right there. Guys, guys, this is really freaking me out. Yo! Okay, yo, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here, guys. This is freaking me out way too much. We really gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. This shed is just way too weird, dude. As of right now, I'm like really freaked out. I'm beyond freaked out. I don't know what I saw in the shed. I'm hearing weird noises. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a little walk. There's a park behind my house, and that's where I keep hearing like this banging noise. And I feel like if I if I figure out what's over there, if I can figure out what's making the sound, I'll feel a little bit better. I want to get back to the box for it pretty soon. Hey buddy. Hey. Guys, a cat just walked by. I don't know if that's a black cat or not. It doesn't have a collar on it. I don't know. He seems friendly, but as I was walking over, guys, I saw this rope here. And I don't know if you guys remember from our video down in the woods, but I saw a similar rope. Last time I saw a rope like this, we were we were deep in the woods and I know there were a lot of stories of kids playing down there, and of course there were sightings of black-eyed children in the woods. I don't know if this is something maybe they play with, but... Hey guys, here's the park. I'm not hearing the banging noises that I was hearing earlier. Dude, what the heck? What the heck was... Guys, guys, this is 3 a.m. and a car just went by with like its horns on going crazy. What the heck is that? Dude, I'm, I'm feeling really freaked out right now. I'm feeling like beyond freaked out. This is weird. Maybe we should just go back to the box for it. Yo, are those moving before? Yo, I don't know if those were moving before. Dude, what the heck? If those were moving before. Those were not moving before. Those were not moving before, guys. 
Yo, I can still hear the sound of the car. I can still hear the sound of the car. I don't know what's going on, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the swing started moving, dude. The swing started moving. This is freaking me out, guys. This is really freaking me out. And I saw this abandoned truck here. Alright guys, so I'm checking out the bed of the truck. I'm I'm not really seeing too much around here. I wasn't sure if we'd see There's something inside the truck. There's something inside of the truck, guys! What the hell was that? Dude! We're going! I don't care, we're going! We're going back to the box fort! Again, over there is the cemetery, which is kind of eerie. I was thinking about going over and, and, and looking, but honestly, guys, it's just way too creepy right now. Maybe if you guys want me to go over the cemetery, you can let me know. We can maybe do a video there. Oh, oh God! Oh, God! Oh, God!